was mad today, wasn't it? It was, wasn't it? You seemed out of it though. Is everything alright? Yeah, I just have a lot on my mind. Tia, we're 15. Why is it so dire to have you climbing around in this beast? The only thing that should be on your mind right now are school and boys. Is that all you ever think about? What? Can't a girl make a joke? Is it a joke, Juana? Um, I have to go. What's up with her? You know that girl is a bag of moods. Did she tell you what's bothering her? Like she's gonna open up to me. Have you tried asking? Why should Tia's problems be mine? Because she's your friend, and friends shoulder each other's challenges, Kwana. Tia is a very sensitive person. She's gonna get all testy if I ask her one wrong question. And you know me, I'm gonna get all bitchy on that girl. Tia's problem is not mine to fix. Hi, come on in. Thanks for coming in to see you. You mean I had a choice? We all have a choice. So I could have avoided this conversation. You could have, but I'm hoping you'd rather have it. Why? Because I can see there's something bothering you. There's nothing bothering me. Why would you say that? Human emotions are like flowers, radiant when they're at their best. And today I can see a slight wilt in yours. Are you experiencing any difficulties in your life, Tia? I never said I had a problem. I never said that you did. I asked, are you experiencing any challenges? <laughs> no. Would you tell me if you were? If I tell you no, would you leave it alone? No. Um, I'm gonna be late for rehearsal, so may I leave? Yes, you may. But we're not done. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Hey. You're gonna need this for your trip tomorrow. <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Mm -hmm. Bye. Damn, Tia looks good. Under all of that seriousness. I'm not after her personality. Cause I need to leave that girl alone. One ain't enough for you. Who? Aren't you all up on corner? <laughs> Doesn't mean she my girl. Just um easy access. Cause I'll buy blag. Man, listen. You're too tight. I'm tight. Cause I'm money say say. Everybody, you're like 16. Are you guys coming or not? Come in. Come in, miss. What are you doing, Tia? Leave me alone. Sure? I said leave me alone! I would chill with the attitude. Do I look like Kwana to you? Walk away. So you think because you're the principal's daughter, I just gives you the authority? I see you, Nigel. Tia, you ain't seen shit. If I wasn't sure before, I definitely am now. So, 
Would you like to talk about whatever it is that's challenging you? Why do you hardly use the word problem? Call it a personal thing. But why? I don't like using it because it kind of insinuates that we're not in charge of our decision making. I love that smile, you know that, right? You're just trying to get me to talk. Will you? I'm not the one with the prop challenged, Mom. You're not. Is it someone at school? It is. Okay, a friend, a student. Come on, honey, help me out here. It's Kwana. You wanna share? Mom, I think that's for Kwana to tell. Okay. You know, she acts like she's the life of the party, you know, so strong, but it's all a facade, you know? <laughs> she's just trying to deal. I'm so fortunate to have a child like you. You are? I am. You think before you speak, you give thought before action. You kind of remind me of your Uncle Marcus. <laughs> Thank God you're not as swift of a cutlass <laughs> as he is. I heard about that. All right, hon. Hey, maybe you should ask Juana to talk to someone. Okay? They are the trouble, ladies. I can't believe Mrs. Robinson has a sour puss right here. Kwana, are you Tia's friend or not? What kind of stupid question is that? If you have something to say to Tia, say it to her. But she never speaks ill of you. Show her some respect. Talk about it? Talk about what? I know what's going on, Kwana. Mind your damn business. I have brothers. We all go to the same school. So what? Boys talk. Look, Kwana, I know I'm not the best person to talk to, but there are people you can turn to. I've seen pictures. You naked in bed, your breasts in the bathroom mirror. I'm not sure. Stop. Why are you protecting him? I'm not. I just want it all to go away. There are ways of handling this. Put it in the hands of a responsible girl. One minute, please. Let's talk about that some other time. Come on. Is everything okay, Miss St. Clair? No, ma'am. I did something stupid. I hate that word. Let's try something different. You thought of? Yes. Something we did not put too much thought into. And we all do that sometimes, Miss St. Clair, don't we? I was wondering if you could help me make this challenge go away. I can try, but first you'd have to tell me what's going on and we at the school, we could see what we could do about it. Who is we? Depending on the severity of your situation, there may be a few teachers that have to consult. Miss Robinson, I really don't want everybody knowing my business. Kwana. Whatever you say will be in strict confidence, but you must remember that as principal of this school, there are persons that I answer to. But... But we will do all in our power to ensure your privacy. Can we work with that? Yes, ma'am. Good.
What are you doing? He's holding it. Good. Gentlemen. Mrs. Robinson. Damien, may I have a few minutes with Nigel, please? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. May I sit? Is something wrong, ma'am? Nigel, something has been brought to my attention, but I need your side of the story. Okay, but I'm sort of in the dark here, Mrs. Robinson, because I have no idea what you're talking about. Would you have anything that be considered private and a violation of the school's policies in your possession? No. Can I see your phone? Why? Do you have something to hide? No. Then you wouldn't mind if I took a look at your phone, would you? Nigel, we can do this the easy way. Two intelligent people trying to resolve an issue, or we could do this the hard way. Do you understand? It would help if you unlocked it. Nigel, not only do you have photos of another student that we considered crude and distasteful... But she sent it. She is underage, and that gives you no right to show this to every Tom, Dick and Harry at my school. I need you to come to my office. We'll continue the conversation there. Why, Daniel? What was I so sick last night? Girl, hot, hot, hot. It's so, only what I do. <laughs> all you know, I couldn't make it. Yeah. But you know, tea I'm at all ready. Well, exactly. A lot. I wanted to say thank you. For what? I wasn't speaking to you, Becca. I was talking to Tia. Me? Why? For being a true friend. Girl, I had Nigel got expelled. That bastard. He had no rights, you know. But I had no business texting my private parts to some boy just because I wanted him to like me. We all do things we wish we hadn't done. But what I did was pretty stupid. No matter how your mother chose to phrase it, even you have to admit that. But in this day and age, <laughs> As my mother would say, you guys are young and in your learning stages. <laughs> Fifteen is hard, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> it is. Okay. Standing okay. on the edge, <laughs> the edge of me and you. Missing how it felt, how it felt to hold you. Times we spent. Was the deal? Where did it go? How was it lost? Why didn't we know? What was the cost? I love you. Tell me what you feel. Cause baby, I can't live. Even though I doubt you. I love you. Tell me if it's real. Cause baby, I can't breathe.